presented by Prairie Farms of Edwardsville, Illinois. A Best Setter Rosette will be presented by the Cattle Connection of Amory, Wisconsin. And the Junior Award is presented by Bud John Vale of Copake, New York. Judge Banke has completed his placings in the Melking Shorthorn Junior Two-Year-Old Cow Class. I'd like to ask our junior exhibitors to please take a step forward. The first place junior is entry 1547, North Star Sriracha, shown by Christopher Peterson and Sarah Rhodes of Greenville, Ohio. The second place junior is entry 1522, Rose Lane Presto Spice, shown by Wyatt Novice of Waupon, Wisconsin. Third in the class, and also best bred and owned, is entry 1529 Hardcore Snoopy Firebrick EXP, shown by Keith and Donnett Fisher of Hardcore Farm, New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. Second in the class, to entry 1544 Top View Presto Alexa EXP, shown by Amy Yeager and Katie Kearns, Woodsboro, Maryland. Winning the class, she's also best utter, entry 1551, Rydale Something Special EXPET, shown by Rydale Genetics and TJ Winger, Worthington, Massachusetts. Congratulations. <laughs> Judge Banky, your comments, please. Thank you, Sarah. I believe that this cow is named appropriately, something special. You know, as a judge, when you're uh, looking around the ring and you're analyzing the cows individually and you come across a cow like this, you're a pretty happy person. This cow is so clean and dairy, beautiful frame, great spring of rib, incredible width to her mammary system, great teat placement, a cow that walks comfortably on her feet and legs, 
she is something special. She has that advantage in rear udder today over the cow in second. More height and width at the point of rear udder attachment. She got more drop to her rear rib and flank today. She also handles her legs and walks out more squarely when viewed from behind. Not to take away anything from this cow in second. She's a beautiful long framed cow. She's got a youthful well attached udder. She uses the advantage in her crease to her mammary system today when looking at them from behind. And she's also more cow. She's taller, longer, a little wider through her rump structure today than the, the beautiful youthful young cow that I have third. The young cow in third uses her advantage in her feet and legs today to go over the cow in fourth. She has more desirable set to the hock when viewed from the side. She's a little stronger in her pastern. I love the mammary system on the fourth cow. Great height and width to her rear udder, a really strongly well attached fore udder, just not quite the overall mobility to go up into the top three spots today. But she does use her mobility and the ease of movement in her hocks today to go over the cow that's in fifth. I also prefer teat placement over the cow in fifth. I love the angularity and the openness of rib, that stretch from end to end of the fifth place cow, and she uses that to go over the cow that's in sixth. Just more feminine and clean cut all the way through. The sixth and seventh place cows, stronger made cows, wide, powerful, and two of the biggest rear uttered cows in the class. And then we have the Futurity winner that comes next in line, a great young balanced cow, just like a little more volume to a rear udder today to be able to move up any higher. Some great cows and a fantastic winner. Again, something special.